Hi, I'm Ron Balicki, and I am starting something today. It's going to be a video log that I'm going to have going, and I'll try to be as uh, consistent as possible. So my first video log is July 24th, 2012. It's also my Sifu's birthday, Dan and Asanto, and uh, I guess it's a good day for me to start this. So with the first log, out of everything that we do, I think the first thing I'm going to touch on is JKD. And part of the reason I'm going to hit the Jeek and Do thing is because I'm really working it. You know, after all these year, years, you'll kind of get like a, a new surge of energy for stuff that you're doing. And uh, right now that surge has been with uh, the whole JKD thing. So I've been exploring uh, going and opposing leads a lot. And what started me with this is a lot of people were... Uh, talking about me in all the blogs and on YouTube, stating that I'm not real Jeek and Do because I do left lead only. And uh, that's really not true, but even if it were true and I did left lead only, JKD is supposed to be the power lead forward, and since I'm left-handed, ha ha ha, I get to be in the left lead. You know, and now nowadays we know with people cross-training so much, you need to be uh, proficient left and right. So a lot of my emphasis has been switching into my right lead because that's my weaker side, so I'm trying to strengthen that up more. And uh, I've, I've been into this for, well, I, I'm saying just getting going, but I've been really hitting it hard for a year, just trying to catch up to where I feel just as comfortable in my right lead as I do my left lead. Now, this is pretty cool, uh, the things that I have been learning in it, because nobody likes to fight somebody who's in an opposing lead or the mirror image lead. So um, I, I find uh, that, that I've been, uh, j it's, it's a new awakening on things for me, you know, to look at it this way. I actually asked my Sifu Dan and Osanto what he thought about Bruce Lee and would he fight in his left lead, and, you know, he would tell me, yeah, of course, Ron, you fight in his left lead, you know, and obviously, I knew he did, but to all the, you know, quote-unquote, you know, JKD enthusiasts out there, they like to correct you, no, Bruce Lee was right lead only. In sparring, Inasano told me that Bruce Lee was about 60% right lead and about 40% left lead in his sparring. He would still train it and try to be proficient with it, and I had gone a little farther, and I asked him, what if... Bruce Lee were fighting somebody who was in their right lead also when he was in his right. Would he stay in his right or would he switch to being an opposing lead? And Sifu Inasano told me it was a good question. He said not many people asked it in that, in, in that way, but he said if he knew the guy's abilities and if he felt comfortable with it, he would probably stay in his right. If he wasn't, uh, wasn't sure of the guy and he wanted to kind of feel out where the guy was at, he would switch to the opposing lead, which if the guy was in the right, he would put Bruce Lee in his left lead. And there's a lot of things that this does. Uh, it it kind of puts you a little bit further away from the cross because if my right's uh, uh, forward and your left is forward, it's going to blade us to where that cross is further over there versus if I were in this stance, that cross is kind of right in my face. And that nanosecond more gives me so much more time to work technique. And, and try it for yourself. Go in opposing lead, and if you're, if you're a JKD person or a Wing Chun or if you're a Filipino boxer and you put trapping into your fighting, Go in the opposing lead and try to get it, and I'll bet you you're going to have a little more success with it. So uh, that's the homework for the week. Try that out, and uh, I will be back soon with more thoughts.